Johnny Keys TV with another tutorial. Um, this time we're gonna take uh, sampling a little further. It's been a year since I made uh, a tutorial, um, and this will actually only be my second tutorial. But since I had so much uh, uh, awesome feedback from you guys, I decided to make another one. So um, we're gonna just get right into it here. So basically, what I did, I already set up the the drums and everything that you can see here. So if you know how to do drums and stuff. Um, then just go ahead and set up your drums and follow along if you please. I've also got the Adele sample from Hometown Glory. Um, we're going to go ahead and just listen to that right now. And that's the part of the sample that I chose that I just want to uh, use to show you guys. So what I'm going to do is actually to get more of a, a human feel to your drums I'm gonna just teach you a quick little thing so if we actually just play the drums how they are it's uh it's super digital you know like straight on one and two three and four it's really snappy so if you actually see this thing up here uh, this swing adjustment you can actually just pull it up to the first bar. That's usually where I leave it at. I don't like to go too much higher unless I'm trying to go really abstract with my beats. But I recommend this for if you're just trying to sample a little bit, make it more human. So go ahead and listen to that. You'll notice it in the double kick here. And uh, I'm going to turn it up all the way just so you can hear how it sounds. Kind of sounds like some old Dilla stuff, but I'll set that back. So I'll leave it like that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in... Well, we can either use the FL Slicer, the Fruity Slicer, or we can use SliceX. SliceX is kind of the better form of the Fruity Slicer, so I recommend using that. Um, so let's go ahead and choose SliceX. Now, with SliceX you can see all this craziness um, don't really adjust nothing until we've got our sample in there and in order to bring your sample in there all you have gotta do is click on your sample click on the sample itself click and drag it in drop it in now you're gonna see these bars come up in here um, what I want you to do is just go ahead is cut those out of there because we don't want them it's got these auto cuts I don't like how it does that I know a lot of you are gonna trip out over the tempo um, but let me show you how to do that so there's this thing right here that's got this or sorry this one that's got the knife with the with the marker there so what we're gonna do is go ahead and right click on that and just go to medium grid slicing now it's not exactly on the beats but this is where we need to make our own adjustments so we've counted it out before so if you actually just want to go ahead and play it oh sorry I forgot about that we can actually just go ahead and cut this bring that back up so now we've got our keys You know what it actually chopped it up pretty nice so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that um, except I'm just gonna turn the sample down because it's gonna be a little more powerful than our drums so uh, go ahead and hit play on your drums and then maybe just play around with uh, the notes that we set up here um, and then find the way, uh, way it chops nicely
So I kind of got something nice going on there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and record that in. So we click record. We're going to draw on our drums. We're going to make it eight bars. And then I'm going to click song pattern two. I think it was. Oh, sorry, my bad. That I like the most and then throw this every once in a while. Um, let's try it out. So all I did there was play it on my keyboard um, to the way I had the sample chopped. So what we're going to do is you can actually see that it's not quite on time. I was a little sloppy. So we're going to go ahead and uh, control A, we'll highlight that all, shift Q, quantize that, and then we're going to fix the ones that messed up. Just shift these over just a tiny bit if they're not right on the line. And then I actually missed one over here, so what I'm going to do is just, just double that up maybe. And maybe even just go crazy here at the end, just to give it some variance, right? So now we're going to go back to our playlist. We're going to double that up just to fill up the drums. Take record off. Hit play. And again, it's not the greatest beat in the world, and that's not what I'm trying to say here. I'm just trying to teach you guys how to actually use SliceX in a, in a good form. So if you guys wanted to actually change up where your markers were, all you'd have to do is actually grab the marker and drag it back. So for our first sound, it goes... So... Right when she says one dis, we, I want to get rid of that dis part, so. And I can kind of tell where it is by the wave, just by looking at it here. It's so just a little bit back more. So now I've just got that single part. But now this one is going to start at where I left off. So now you can hit play. So as you can see, it changed it up a bit. Again, it sucks terribly bad. But uh, what can you do? You know what I mean? Um, this is what you guys need to do um, if you guys want to change the pitch. So you can actually change the pitch here by just adjusting this, lifting it up, finding the right pitch, hopefully. But when you do that, it's also going to change the speed and how fast the sample plays. Um, that's actually one thing I don't know how to adjust, and it's how fast the, the song actually moves. Maybe this one. No, I guess not. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and show you another cool technique that you can do for when you're sampling. So what I'm going to do is actually add a... I'm going to go ahead and throw this in channel 3 for now, or no, we'll go 5, because I don't have any drums on that one, and then I'm just going to add like a delay to it, add a reverb maybe. Again, that's not even the sample that I wanted, so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and just delete that. Let's 
this is another way you just go into your piano roll and start chopping away making them a decent length or any length that you want to So maybe it sounds a little too fast, you can go ahead and actually just drag these out real quick. Maybe bring this one back. Maybe go like this for this one. Again, I don't know. Um, not the greatest beat in the world, but you guys know how to use Slice X and you know how to chop some stuff up. So, again, Hope you learned something. You're all perverts. Peace the fuck out.